Hello, Dane here, and um, I guess this is a bit of a different video because what I'm starting to do now, in case you haven't seen my other video, is that I'm uploading book hauls and all my book videos and stuff both to my personal channel, which is youtube.com slash Dane Cobain, and to my book blog as well, which is youtube.com forward slash social bookshelves. So, social bookshelves will be just bookish videos, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Dane Cobain will be bookish videos, but it'll also be things like me vlogging and playing guitar and um, doing my poems and sharing promos for my own books and all of this stuff, even little holiday videos. So yeah, it's up to you which you subscribe to, if either, both preferably, um, but I'm going to stop rambling now and this is what I got in November. Da -da -da. Ha ha! Hi folks, Dane here, and welcome to uh, the socialbookshelves.com October book haul. Let's go! So I'm going to start with this one, which is Dead Man's Time by Peter James. I actually picked this up at the book exchange at my local pub, The Rose and Crown. And I believe I even have some footage of when I found that. So um, I, I might ins insert that into the video. Oh I think I actually need that one. Don't wake up. Do I need any of the others? Oh. Is it the girl on the train? I need to check on my phone to see whether I have got that. Meanwhile, I've got these other books as well, so I just wanted to film these quickly. I'm not mic'd up, I'm not using the lighting. I did actually have that lamp on, and um, yeah, it did, because of where its position is in the video, it didn't really work. Um, this has come to me all the way from America, being posted to me by Catherine Bay. Or maybe that's the address, I don't know. Two and the case of the missing scarab by Cullum Kill Noonan, and yeah, it's about. Um, from what I understand, it's kind of a steampunky detective novel. Um, just looking at it, I mean, I like the layout actually. It's very nice. I'm assuming, assuming this is an indie book, but it looks great. Um, I'm very excited to read this. Adrian Magson, Rocco and the Nightingale, which is an Inspector Rocco mystery. So this is another mystery detective novel. And it looks like this is uh, set in Paris. It's from the Dome Press. So, very exciting. Oh, hello. This is just a quick one. Because I got this, this, there, there, from World of Books. And I think I know what this is. I think this was recommended uh, by Hannah, Hannah Tay. Uh, actually, I can't remember what her channel name is. I think it's just Hannah Tay. But anyway, you know Hannah. Hannah's cool. Yes, it is. So she talked about this book, and I thought it sounded awesome, so I got a copy. So it's uh, Edith Holden, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Very cool. So yeah, it's got lots of... Oh, this is really beautiful. It's very beautiful. I'm looking forward to this. That is really nice. All handwritten and stuff as well. Look at that. Yeah, good shout. Good shout, Hannah. Okay, um, I got three books while on holiday. So the first I got from a charity shop for 50 pence. And that's Diane Wynne Jones, which is, I don't even know what it's called, Stealer of Souls, The Worlds of Crestomanchi. And I guess this was a World Book Day read. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little quick read. It looks very sweet. And uh, she wrote Howl's Moving Castle, which I recently read and reviewed. So there's that. Then we have this one, which is Thank You Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. Um, I got a new copy of it, because why not? Um, I've never read any Woodhouse before, but this is the first book in the, the Jeeves series, so I thought it ought to be done. And I noticed it's got Hugh Laurie and Stephen Fry both providing a quote, and that's because they played Jeeves and Worcester. And then this, which is The Vikings, Great Civilizations. It's a ladybird book. Um, it's not an original Ladybird book, but what it is, it's a facsimile reproduction, so it's exactly like the real thing, and it just looks lovely, so, yeah. Alright, well, very exciting news. I've had not one, but two packages, so um, let's have a look. I've got to find somewhere to put this, uh, put my camera. I mean, I don't know where to start. There's so much stuff here. Let's start with this, because I know what each one of these is, but this is because I am sitting on the shadow panel of the Young Writers Award, which is organised by 
um, a literary agency whose name I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm very sorry. And also the Sunday Times. So this year there are five finalists. Um, I and socialbookshelves.com are sitting on the shadow panel with some other bloggers. All the info's on uh, socialbookshelves.com or give it a Google. But yeah, they've sent me the books so that I can read them and um, help to pick the shadow panel's favourite. Okay, so we have got Minu, Minu Dinshaw, which is Outlandish Night, The Byzantine Life of Stephen Runciman. And so this one is a biography. Um, that is actually quite long, so I don't know how I'm going to get through that in time. But we've got the others here as well. Um, I'm going to read through as men much of each of them as I can. They've actually arrived a little bit late, so I've got about three weeks to go through all of these books. But anyway, Outlandish Night by Minu Dinshaw. We've got The Lauras by Sarah Taylor, or possibly Sarah Taylor. The Lauras is this one. Um, I think this one is a novel. This one's the one that the other judges have all started with, I think. And they've all said it's very good, but I'm going to obviously uh, reserve my own judgment on that. I might even start with a different one to, you know, mix things up. This is Sally Rooney, Conversations with Friends. This one is The Lucky Ones by Julianne Pacheco. Um, yeah, and these are the, sh this is the short story collection. So actually, I think I'm going to start with this one. So this is The Lucky Ones. And then this is The End of the Day by Claire North, um, which, uh, b b yes, it's Rich and Judy. I, th I, th I feel like maybe, I, maybe I've read one of her books before, I can't remember. But yeah, so these are the five books that I've been sent, and um, I'm going to read through them as quickly as possible. I've got, I think, three weeks to get through this pile, but see how it goes. This box has been sent to me from uh, the Forward Arts Foundation. So this was for a National Poetry Day thing and uh, the, the National Poetry Day ran a competition where they asked people to submit their poems and they'd pick a winner and send them some books and I was the lucky winner and um, yeah, here we go. This is The Zoo of the New which is selected by Nick Laird and Don Paterson. I told you there were lots of books in here, we're not even scratched the surface yet. Ten Poems of Kindness. Selected and introduced by Jackie Kay. We've got uh, In Person, World Poets, filmed and edited by Pamela Robertson. Pe oh, Pamela Robertson, Pierce and Neil Astley. Then we've got The Poetry Pharmacy, Tried and True Prescriptions for the Heart, Mind and Soul by William Sieghart. And there's a, a testimonial by, by Stephen Fry on the back. This is 100 Prize Poems, 25 Years of the Forward Books. Uh, oh, and this is also the Forward Book of Poetry as well. And some stuff by Andrew Marr on the back. Then we've got this. This is Caroline Duffy and Gillian Clark, The Map and the Clock. This is a nice Faber hardback as well, which is lovely, very thick. This is the Valley Press Anthology of Yorkshire Poetry. Now, funnily enough, edited by Miles Salter. I believe I met him at an event in, uh, in Yorkshire Literature Festival. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Poems of the Decade, an anthology of the forward books of poetry. And finally, a National Poetry Day bookmark. So actually, that has worn me out bringing all these out because there are a crap load of them. All of these. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out other videos, etc., etc., etc. Keep your eyes peeled soon for a video with some more information about the uh, Young Writers Award, both the shortlist. I'll talk a bit about the other bloggers as well, and I'll show you the books, which would be very cool. Um, obviously, you had a glimpse at them in this video. And I will see you at the end of November, I guess, for November's Hall. Probably see you before then on other videos, especially if you subscribe to both channels and occasionally get duplicate videos, I guess. I don't know, I haven't worked, haven't worked it out yet. So yeah, bye.